Hello guys, uh, today I've ordered Intex Aqua E4, um, which is a 4G smartphone, and here's the box back. And I have ordered it through shoplose.com. And uh, looking at the specifications here, it's a 4 inch WVGA display, it's a 1 gigahertz quad core processor, 8 GB ROM, and 1 GB RAM. And the good news is it runs on Android Marshmallow, it has a 4G and VOLTE and uh, it, the memory can be expanded up to 32 GB so let's unbox this back and let's see how is the phone itself so here's the unbox uh, so I unboxed it just now and here's the phone itself let's keep it aside let's see what's inside the box itself I'll open it like it so here is a USB data syncing port uh, you see headphone this looks like a pretty uh, decently the in-ear style headphone so just keep it aside here is the wall adapter i hope it is me uh keep it aside this it takes battery uh, powering around uh, uh probably okay let's keep it aside uh, there is a free back cover which is pretty good uh, back cover uh, pretty solid it doesn't flinch or bit so it has some index booklets and, and good news another is a screen protector which is also provided so okay let's uh, check out the phone itself now so here's the phone itself and uh, it's a pretty stylish looking phone you can see it has a dual LED flash uh, 4 inch WVJ one thing I don't like about this phone is uh, somehow all the parts has been uh, pretty good but uh, there's a headphone jack and, but this side is something a little fancy because I cannot make it out I don't know why I have to check it out for further unless it's putting now so here's the 4 inch VGA display. I got a pretty nice, good display around here. Um, yeah, it's pretty smooth. Uh, let's, let's quickly jump into the settings and uh, look at the about phone. And it's looking uh, at uh, Aqua E4 and it's running on Marshmallow, which is a pretty good deal. Uh, okay, let's go to back it. Uh, let's check it out um, the memory so out of uh, 1 GB RAM you get around 325 MB of free and 612 MB is generally used so let's read the back and let's just apps to okay now look at the USB storage now around 8 GB 222 MB is free uh, used and uh, you get more so good news so you have a lot of storage here display there's a meetup cast technology which is pretty good meta vision you have an adaptive brightness so you have yes it does have a light bright light sensor so you don't need to adjust your brightness regularly um so lots of wallpapers let's, let's change the wallpapers a bit um okay yeah this is much more better okay so here it is a uh, pretty stock looking uh, experience uh, okay so yeah so let's check out the camera mm, yeah how's the cameras look like Let's make it now. Touch is pretty decent. Let's take a take it a picture. It is fixed focus camera. It does not have auto focus. Uh, so let's take a the cameras let's now. Let's take a look at the picture. And uh, yeah, decent camera. Not bad, but it's not either the best thing that you can get. Okay. So uh, here's the settings. And go and zero shutter delay and the flash. So let me take a picture with flash.
Now, how is the flash working? So here's the sample with flash and uh, it's the sample without flash. Both pictures came out pretty decent. I'll be doing an in-depth review of this phone very quickly. Uh, I have a call dialer. The display is still a little small by the way to my hands because I'm using uh, have showed a lot of using a 5 inch or 5.5 inch display. Um, but this phone is pretty decent pretty uh, small to my likings but at the price of 3333 you can expect much more at least it has 4g vld i have to test it out my geo sim how the 4g actually works so today guys so it's up to it i'll be coming with more reviews more videos about this benchmarks about this performance and how it actually works with the day-to-day -day users so so double tap yeah so here's a hide application settings okay the, that's it i'll be coming with new videos so please stay tuned to my channel and for more videos like this thank you